Hello everyone. Today, let's have a look at project tracking in Siloxis. Let's start from a team member's perspective. In Siloxis, a team member can track their tasks across projects in one place, update task progress, log time and expenses, collaborate with their team, upload files, and participate in issues, bugs, etc. Let's now log in as a team member. This is a team member's dashboard. It is fully customizable. For this demo, I've added these four widgets. My tasks, my issues, the current timesheet, and my rejected time that shows a list of rejected time entries in the earlier weeks. Let's have a look at the My Tasks section. This lists all tasks that are assigned to Grace along with the health indicators. For example, the at risk task indicates that the task is behind schedule. Let's say that Grace has finished working on these two tasks. She can easily mark them and show them as 100% complete. Another interesting option is to mark it as on track. The system will automatically assign the correct percent complete to the task. For now, let's just mark it as 100% complete. And once done, they will disappear from the list. To get more information, just click on a task. You see task details like the start and the end date of the task, the task progress, hours remaining, and the health of the task. Here, you can see the file attachments and all task attributes including the custom field. Down here, you can see the past comments. You can also enter your comments and attach files from here. While entering comments, you can mention users like you do in Twitter. Here, I'm going to mention Andrew, my project manager, and I'm going to request a two-day extension. And let's submit this. Now, when Andrew logs in, he will see this comment and he will also be notified via email. Let's move on to the issues section. This lists all the issues that are assigned to Grace. To know more about an issue, click on the link. The layout is similar to that of a task. All the attributes and custom fields here and the comments down here. Let's mark this issue as result. We can add a comment here. Also, login time and submit. We can see that the issue is now marked as resolved. Let's now have a look at the current timesheet section. As you can see, 4 hours have been logged by Grace this week. Let's open the timesheet. We intelligently populate your timesheet with the right work items so that all you have to do is enter time. You can log in hours from here and also add your comments. You can also log non-project time like meetings and sick leaves, vacation right from here. Let's now submit this for approval. We have a very flexible approval workflow for timesheets, but that's for another time. As you can see, your team members can do everything they want right from the dashboard. This convenience and ease has significantly improved user acceptance. Now, let's have a look at the calendar view. You can use this calendar view to see your assignments, schedule meetings, and also add your holidays. You can also sync this calendar with your Outlook, Google, or Apple calendar. So this was about a project team member. Let's now see how Siloxis helps project managers in tracking. In Siloxis, a project manager can track their projects and tasks in one place, request progress update on tasks, 
collaborate with their team, track the plan versus action, monitor risks, change requests, issues, and other business processes that you would use spreadsheets for, and also run customized reports. Let's now log in as Andrew, our project manager. On logging in, he will be taken to his dashboard. As you can see, that Andrew has received a message. Is the text sent by Grace earlier in the demo? You can click on this to reply. This is how users can communicate within the app. All such messages are also sent via email. Now, let's have a look at the dashboard. This dashboard shows aggregated data across all projects that are managed by Andrew. Also, as mentioned earlier, all these dashboards are fully customizable. For this demo, I have configured it to show some metrics like the margin, revenue, cost, and effort. Down here is a list of projects that are managed by Andrew, along with the schedule and the budget health indicators. For more details, you can click on a project. Under the schedule section, you can see that the project is on track. It also shows the progress and the upcoming milestones. Next, we see that the project has exceeded its budget already by 10%. However, on the revenue side, it is doing quite well. Next here, we can see the open risks, issues, bugs, and change requests. These numbers in red show high priority items. Scrolling down, you can see many attributes including the custom fields. Up here, all these tabs like Kanban, files, and risks show items attached to this project. Let's click on the files tab. This is a list of files in this project. We have a comprehensive file management system. You can upload your files, organize them in folders, and also have a version control with checkout and check-in capabilities. All these tabs here are also fully customizable. Let's go back to the dashboard. Next is this pie chart that shows tasks that need attention. Let's drill down the address tasks and ask the task owners for an update. We can easily check them all and request an update. All the task owners are notified by email. The next widget on the dashboard shows the budget utilization, that is, a plan versus the actual utilization of cost for the last few months. And next here is a widget that shows the plan versus the actual effort for Andrew's team this month. You can also have multiple dashboards. Let's go to the CRIB dashboard. CRIB is an acronym for change requests, risks, issues and bugs but it also means to constantly complain so we have put all our grumblings here this dashboard shows you a cross project view of all open change requests risks issues and bugs you can also have views to suit your unique style of working for example we have created some views like in progress tasks tasks due this week and so on let's have a look at some popular ones the first one is the who's doing what report here you can see what your resources are doing in your projects. The next popular report is this one that shows all the tasks in progress. This is a cross project Gantt of tasks in progress. On the left, you see the task attributes while on the right, you see the timelines. Again, all these views are fully customizable. So this was all about project tracking from a project manager's perspective. Thank you.